into it. So, yeah. All right. Let's move on to um, the next topic here. Now, this is interesting, guys. Have you guys heard about what actually happened in Tulsa? In Tulsa and your mainstream media is they're not they're refusing to cover this. It seems it's not getting the attention because it doesn't fit the narrative. A black man executed two white men and they're not covering this thing. Thank God the guy actually did get arrested. But two men are dead. They're dead because of their skin color. This is disturbing. Now we know if the roles were reversed, that the mainstream media would be all over this. There'd be rides all in the street. Buildings would be burned down. If these two white men actually killed the black men. But it didn't happen. So it's not actually on any type of headlines of the mainstream media. Uh, this actually came out um, a few days ago. And he's actually charged with a hate crime. Yeah. So this is serious right here, guys. Look at this. Black man charged with hate crime in random shootings of two white men in Tulsa. And this is uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. He executed two white men simply because they were white. I don't even believe he even knew these men. But your media is not covering this because it doesn't fit their narrative. The The media is really, really pathetic, guys. They're going to re refuse to actually cover this stuff. Now, of course, they're actually out there covering uh, the guy in the New York uh, subway because that fits the narrative. He's a black man. He's now deceased. And the Marine, white. We'll get into that because we got something uh, to talk about that too later. So the media is covering that. But they're not covering this when this man went out of his way to execute two white men. Look here. The man suspected in the fatal shooting of two white men in Tulsa, Oklahoma, has been charged with a hate crime, meaning that prosecutors believe the victim's race was part of the killer's motivation. Carlton Gifford is accused of shooting uh, London Hatchcock, 35, at the local uh, Rutsill Library on April 18th. After that, he is alleged to have gone to a quit trip and shot 55-year-old James McDaniel in the back of the head. I mean, guys, who goes to a library to kill somebody? This guy did. And then he went over, I'm assuming that Quit Trip is like a convenience store or something like that, a gas station, I don't know. And then he kills another person. Yeah. This is, this is sad, man. This is sad. This is this scumbag right there. That's him right there. That is the man that the media refuses to color to cover. Wow. Quote, through the investigation, homicide detectives learned Carlton Gifford first went to the library. Inside the library, he walked up behind a man sitting at a desk and shot him in the back of the head. The man was just sitting down at the desk and this guy just walked up to him and shot him. Quote, following the shooting at the library, they continued. Gifford went to the uh, quit trip inside the store. Gifford again shot a ma male in the back of the head. When that victim fell to the ground, the suspect shot him again. Hatchcock was um, was bred dead upon arrival at a local hospital and never regained consciousness. McDaniel was pronoun pronounced dead on the scene. Hatchcock's mother said he spent a great deal of his time at the library 
using computers to look for work. The Tulsa Police Department announced the charges on Facebook. Quote, suspect charged with hate crime, they wrote. Tulsa County District Attorney's Office charged murder suspect Carlton Gifford with hate crime. Two weeks ago, we arrested Gifford after he shot two people in the back of the head, one at uh, Root Seal uh, Library and the other at Quit Trip. At this time, there does not appear to have been any connection between the victims and the suspect. After examining the evidence from the case, District Attorney Steve uh, Kunzweller charged the suspect with the additional hate crime. This is an arrest and not a conviction. That is put out by the uh, Tulsa Police Department. But still, why is your media not covering this? Why? Why are they not covering this, guys? The bias of the media on full display. And I got to be honest, guys, I was actually on a um, sports war stream yesterday and somebody asked, did you actually hear about the um, the shooting in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma? And I was like, doesn't ring a bell, doesn't ring a bell. And then when he brought up, it was the, the black guy that executed two white guys. Then it clicked. I was like, oh, yeah, I did hear about that. I didn't know the location. But I'm willing to bet, guys, if. The roles were reversed. It was a white guy going around killing two black people. Everybody would have known about the case. Everybody. I mean, I'm having a hard time right now even remembering this guy's name. You know? His name, last name is uh, Gifford. Gifford, age 61, was arrested this week after the April murders. He was charged with first-degree murder and two counts of shooting with the intent to kill. The hate crime charge was added after Kunzweiler uh, determined that Gifford shot the man because he hated white people. Now, quote, the information suggests that race played a role in it. And I feel that it is something we can prove. And it is something that a judge or jury obviously needs to listen to. So we will present that information along with everything else. Wow. Rest in peace, man, to those men that actually lost their life. They lost their life because the guy didn't like white people. So he decided to take it upon himself and go out there and execute two white people. And the media refuses to even cover it. They're not covering it, guys. Pretty pathetic. They're not covering this hate crime. And it's officially a hate crime. And they don't want to cover it. That's just unbelievable, guys, that they just don't want to cover this thing. Am I surprised? No, I'm not surprised that they're not covering this. It doesn't fit the narrative. It's just that simple. It does not fit the narrative. So therefore, they're not going to cover it. I really do uh, despise the media. I really do despise the media. The media, uh, 